Judge, today's case is firecracker. I have a couple here today who has small issues that turn into big problems. Let's see if we can figure out why we're all day angry. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Ebony Parker and Gary Barksdale. The two of you have been together for four years. You do not wish to be together anymore. You are suing over the value of a, of a truck, and we will talk about that momentarily. But, Mr. Barksdale, I will start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this union and why we're here in court today? Well, me and Ebony, like you just said, been together for four years, mm -hmm. and she's fiery, like, she's not a firecracker, she's a stick of dynamite. Wow. She just uh -oh. explodes about everything. Wow. She's very dictating. Yeah. Now, give me your best small thing, big explosion story. Okay. One day we was going to, we were driving to get crabs. Okay. And she loves crabs. And we were in our city, you know, it's about three different ways to get anywhere you want to go. Mm -hmm. So this. That just took my way, you know, no particular reason. Mm -hmm. Why did you go that way? Why? Right, because you That's wasted stupid. Games. That's dumb. Ms. Parker, did you get angry about the 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 route he chose to yes, take I to did, get the crap? Yes, I did. And why was it worth your anger? Because he wasted my gas. Wasted you. So how many more miles do you think it took you to get there than it would have? in another direction. Maybe like a half a mile, but that's... A half a mile. mile. Yeah, that's still too much gas to be wasted. Dictation, we ain't got no... Okay. Dictation. Absolutely. Dictation. Give me another one. That was pretty good, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, when she... She likes to wake up and see me next to her in the bed. Okay. But if I'm not, Lord have mercy, save me, please. Is why the... You're not in the bed. I like to see you here in the morning when I open my eyes. I can just go to the store to get breakfast. Babe, I want to get breakfast. And you know she does it too, because she's got the impression down pat. Got to clean and everything. Yeah, really, though, I can be going to the store or, you know, the kids want something, or I just want to go sit on the front porch, get some fresh air. If I'm not beside Ebony when she wake up, I got a price to pay. Ms. Parker, is that accurate? It's not that you got a price to pay. It's just that when I'm asleep, you know, when I wake up, I like to feel my man next to me. You know? But what if... Why get angry about him not being there? Because he know that I, that's what I like. So why would you not do what I like? You want me to do what you like, so why can't you do what I like? But I wake up in the morning. I wake every morning. I can go to sleep. Three in the morning. Right. I'm up before nine. Regardless, of my body mm -hmm. just wakes That's up. That's just what you do, yeah. You know, and my, and I, my three year old, he's up eight o'clock, daddy. So I, let it, let's say he's up wrangling with the three year old. You mad because he didn't lay down and wait? Let no, the no, it scream. don't be like, it yeah. don't be like that. Yeah. It don't be like that, Judge. It be like, okay, <laughs> if he wake up, if I'm asleep, sometimes if he get off the bed, he'll wake me up because I'm so used to his body heat being next to me. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, now I got a little attitude because you didn't got out the bed. What you get out the bed for? It's not like if he get out the bed to go <laughs> deal with the kids or something, or he get out the bed to go use the bathroom. But if I get up and you're not in the house at all, then I have a problem. Then it's a, it's a problem. Oh, you added that on there. You don't like him out of the bed, <laughs> but now you just added out of the house. <laughs> you just, you, you, because you, as you were saying it, you realized how dumb that sounded. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to add something to it to make it sound a little better. Don't lie. I mean, you know it. You right, know it. Right. <laughs> you say that if you don't ride him and you're not on top of him all the time, he won't do the right thing. That's right. Explain that to me. Well, one time, like, all right, say if he got a job, you know, he filled out a job application. I have to say, come on, girl, you got to call him. They're not just going to call you. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You, I got to stay on top of him because he forgets a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. He forgets a but lot this, of things. It's crazy because she does the same thing the same way. That's but not when true. it's me, I suppose the, I, I, it's Gary. Gary got to do more. Gary, you got to do this. Gary but hold is up, a man. Be, hold up, though. You, I just watched you do the same thing that I just, just did. Just did. Live. But I got to do... Give me an example. Can Please. you think of something? For example, with the job application. She go online, you know, fill mm -hmm. out her applications and wait for responses. Yeah. 
I do the same thing. Yes. So why do you fuss at him about doing that <laughs> he, when you I don't, don't do, do that. it? I don't do that, Your Honor. I do not do that. He is lying, OK? okay. That's what he do. He lies. That's his thing. Okay. He's a good liar. Okay. You got to watch him, because he alive. <laughs> Probably you. Well, took... you say he's the cook in the house. He do. He does. He does that very well. Oh. But you have to ask him to cook, and you, he should do so without being asked? Is that what you say? If he's at work and I'm home all day, okay. when I Wait. come home, the house might not Wait. be all the way clean, but you better believe I done cleaned it at least twice, made sure the dishes was washed, and it, if the food ain't done, it's on the way to be done. So when you are working and he's not, you're saying that he doesn't cook? No! She has a rule. When you cook, you clean the kitchen behind yourself. Okay. I cook at least five out of seven days. It's, it's, it's six suffers in the house. Uh-huh. I'm That's cooking for six people six every hours. day. Right. And sometimes her, her family members come over. You know, right. I'm very well hospitable. You come over, I'm cooking. If, if, if I were, even if I was already cooking dinner before they got there, now they're a part of dinner. Right. But I'm still responsible for cooking. And cleaning up. Everything. Every, and, I gotta, and, and I don't cook little men. You just lie. You know, I'm cooking mm. a main, two sides. sides. I'm cooking. We, yeah. we, we, got, we won't have the itis when we go to sleep. Everybody. And itis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, as, as some, some common courtesy, you know, at least. No, 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 no. Mr. Par Ms. Parker, he's sounding pretty reasonable over there. Ms. Judge, he is lying to you. you he doesn't cook like that? that? No, he, no, I'm not saying that he don't cook. But all that cook and clean and all of that, he don't do that. Like, I got to put a sign. I have a sign on my window in that my she kitchen don't apply, that, that says... That she don't abide by you, her own sign. First of all, that's well, not Well, what does the sign say? It say, wash your dish after you're finished with it. Because if it's up to anybody else, it'll be a pile of dishes in the sink for three days. You understand what I'm saying? This mm -hmm. man is so lazy, he keep all his dishes on his side of the bed. Lazy, no. He is lazy. Lazy, no. But I refuse Goodbye. to be Period. the one lazy, consistently Period. cleaning the kitchen, cleaning. It ain't about like, the kitchen. Like, in me, I'm not the type, I'm going to go in the kitchen and that's it. I'm going to clean the kitchen. I'm right. going to walk through, I'm do something in our room. I'm going to go in the kids' room. I'm, go, I'm not going to just stick to one room. So before I, at least five out of seven days, keep running through here cleaning up because I'm gonna start in the so kitchen. So you gonna I wait once a week to clean up? Yeah, because nobody else is Come gonna on, do it. So why, so why right. should That's I jump? Right. If, if I'm working, if, if I'm you're the woman feet, of the house and you're not gonna jump up and clean up, why should well, I? Well, when I jump up, up and clean, the first thing you do is sit there and do, do you nothing. Work, do you work outside the home? I do currently? now. I, now I'm working. Yes. Does he? Now that he's working, is everything cool? I mean, as I mean, I still do the same thing. He don't I do still nothing. Come, I still come he home lazy. and cook. He come home and Prime he fucks about being tired. She'll sit there and oh, say, I'm she'll so wake up. Well, let me, let me ask you this. You say that he entertains other women. What do you mean when you say he entertains oh, other women? let's talk about the entertainment. Here we go. He left me for some um, random girl. One day I went to work. I'm like, yeah, babe, I'm gonna bring you something home from eat. You know what you want to eat. I get no reply, no, no nothing for like two days. Talking about, oh, if you want to know where your man at, he with this girl and call this number. I call the number, he with the girl. She telling the girl, oh, I don't got no girlfriend. That's not my girlfriend. She crazy and all this other stuff. Bring the spice. <laughs> um, yeah, Mr. Bostow has stepped out of our relationship and had a baby. Um, he left me, her band, we was together, um, after he, after he had the baby or whatever, he left me for some, um, random girl. One day I went to work, we texting back and forth, everything cool. I, I was, was working unhappy. at Wendy's at the time. I'm unhappy. like, yeah, babe, I'm gonna bring you something home from eat. You know what you want to eat. I get no reply, no, no nothing for like two days. No, I get home, he ain't there, he gone, won't answer the phone, nothing. I get a call from some random number that I didn't know. Talking about, oh, if you want to know where your man at, he with this girl and call this number. I call the number, he with the girl. She telling the girl, oh, I don't got no girlfriend. That's not my girlfriend. She crazy and all this other stuff. Oh, it's in... <laughs> the list can well, go on. Okay, okay. Mr. 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 Barksdale, did all that occur? <laughs> yes, it did. Now, how long ago was that? When all this... My son got here because my mom died. Excuse and me. honestly, I just... That was my heart. Mm -hmm. That was... She could tell you, my mom was my world. And right. when she died, I just lost it. I didn't mm -hmm. care. I didn't care. And I was 
out doing... Doing whatever. Bacardis. Whatever made you feel was, good in the moment. I mean, it, I, I was just looking for escapes. I yeah. didn't know how to... You're numbing it up. Yeah, yeah that's, what, just, you, yeah, that's and, what some people do. Is this a constant thing that he does? Run a trotting off with other women? Well, or was this unique to that very it, particular it, I mean, experience? It was in the beginning of our relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, we wasn't even together for a whole year when this, all of this was going on. Right. So it was in the beginning. So the reason why I'm like, OK, I, I probably think I could deal with it is because everybody, I feel like when you're in a relationship, mm -hmm. everybody makes mistakes. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's up to you whether you want to deal with the mistake or not. And my question is, is he still making that same mistake? Mm, not really. Let, let me <laughs> ask you this. Mr. Barksdale, if I, could, if I could do something for you here today, if I could wave my magic gavel and get you something here to 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 settle this situation down, what one thing would it be? I would say for her to, to put herself more in my shoes and, and really observe and if if feel like if she would want me to do those things that she does to me, the way she talks, because it's... Would she talk crazy to you? <sighs> crazy? If she was talking to me crazy, I wouldn't be here. That's how bad it is. Yeah, it's... right. <laughs> do you talk crazy to her? I'm serious. Do you talk, talk crazy to her? I have a reckless mouth, Your Honor. I'm not going to lie. My mouth is very reckless, especially when I get to that pop top. My mouth can get really but reckless. But do you pop top every day? Not every day. Not every day. Not every day, but... How often? The explosion? Like... Yeah. That's four, five days, depending on, depending on the week we're having. If we're having a good week, maybe two, three days. We're having a good week. You say you don't get enough affection. I get off of work. I'm a server. I stand on my feet. I come home and want my feet rubbed. I say, babe, can you rub my feet? Oh, no. Mm-mm. I ain't doing I that. I'll rub your I'm back. Not, I'm not trying to hit that. I'm not big on feet. He's not an affectionate type of person. I don't right. know if that's the way he was just raised or whatever, but when it's time to for us to do what we do in the bedroom, oh, then he want to kiss, he want to hug, he want to feel, and all. I'm very affectionate to him. Mm -hmm. I kiss him, I will hear So you sleep. want him to be more affectionate? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. What? And he wants you to be less mouthy. Are and you I willing to make to be, that change? No. And I want him to be man more. I want him to man up. What, what do you mean, man up? What, man what, up. What is I mean, when he, how is he failing as a man? Oh, gosh. So I just feel like when it comes to him doing certain things, like I get off of work, I'm a server. I stand on my feet. Sometimes I work two shifts, sometimes, you know, I don't. Okay. I come home, I got my job, I gotta catch the bus from my job to my house, and I come home and want my feet rubbed. I say, babe, can you rub my feet? Oh, no. Mm -mm. I ain't doing I that. I rub your I'm back. Not, I'm not trying to hit that. I'm not big on feet. And I'm not I'm big not on big feet either, but I rub his I'm, when I'm, he wants his to be I'm with you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> my husband come home and put those bad, big suckers and glue in feet. But that's not fair. I mean, I mean, that's not fair because I don't do feet either. And he don't have no beautiful feet. His feet is very ugly. But, but I, I rub really them. When he that. asks me for his feet What's to be rubbed, I rub them. Regardless of what, I give you... Whatever that you ask me for, and he can, and, and if he sit right here and say that, he's a liar. Because anything this man asks me for, I do. So man up and rub your feet. What else does he man up and need? He need to, to do? man up and clean up. He need to man up and stop being lazy. I, like he's, I need he's to such clean a procrastinator. Up according he to procrastinated Ebony. about everything. Yeah. The ebony. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I know what's going on here. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna give you a call because you ain't going nowhere. You got a good <laughs> brother here. I know. By the way. I know. And, and, and here's some advice I'm gonna give you. He's a good dude and he loves you. That's very clear. He's not cheating on you. He messed up four years ago when his mother died, and he has been the right guy ever since then. Don't harp and anger him into finding somewhere else to find peace. If he can come home, if, if, if the door of your house says to him, tie up my tummy, because things are about to get rocky, that is not an inviting thing to be in. You get angry easily, and you get very angry about small things. And it's killing, it's killing your relationship, and it's killing you.
that cortisol and all of that adrenaline going on in your body, it's just hell on your body. You've gotten in the habit of popping off about stuff. And I don't know if it's because you've lacked control or whatever it is, but anger is nothing. Anger is not power. Anger is just a, a symptom of fear. You are constantly afraid, so you, ah, because your body's telling you that there's some kind of mortal threat. The only mortal threat to your relationship is you. I yelled at him so much he stayed. Nobody ever says that. <laughs> that, that doesn't happen. You hear, I yelled at him so much he eventually drifted away. That I hear all of the time. You've got something good. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. Are you perfect? No! So everybody's got to say, you know, well, he doesn't do things on my time and blah, 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 and this, that, and don't tell him because he doesn't know when to clean and rub your feet that he's not a man. That's just silly. He's a man because he comes home. He's a man when he protects his family. He's a man when he takes responsibility for what goes on about other people's lives. That's what being a man is. You want all these little, you know, trinkets and whatnot. That's not what manhood is. It's about the basics. It's about the solid, down-home things that you have to do. And he's showing up in here all man. All man. Don't be so afraid that you dark this guy away. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Ain't nothing you upset about that serious. Nothing. I remember when I was younger, like 25 years ago, and my husband would come home and I would just carpet bomb him with complaints. <laughs> just carpet bomb him. <laughs> Every, you know what I mean? And one day my mother said, you know, one day he's gonna stop coming home. Because that door is an entry to hell for him. What you doing? Don't do that. I'm not trying to do that. I know you're not trying, but that's what you're doing. Because you've gotten the habit of being angry. You've gotten the habit of going a hundred miles an hour over things that aren't worth that. No foot rub is like, oh, okay. It ain't nothing, you're not a man. Do you see what I'm saying? You got to know what's important and know what you need to be angry about. Because the size of the things that you get angry about are an indication of the size, of your size. Small people get upset about small things. Do you see what I'm saying? He loves you, don't mess it up. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Did I do all right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Every once in a while. He don't have to be in the bed when you wake up. That's not a, that's not a holler at him moment. Gee whiz, the guy, should, he's a grown man. He should be able to get out of the bed when he wants but to. But if I do it to him, he gonna be mad too, though. Well, don't, no. don't yes, do that. Indeed. I don't think so. No. All right, see, y'all let him see. Do you let hear me. what I'm saying yes, to you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can't change nobody but you. You got a good brother here. Y'all both working, please. Yes, ma'am. Every once in a while, act in opposition to how you feel. Buy this woman a rose or something. Give her a back rub. Yes, Hug her, even when it's not in character for you because you love her and every once in a while you need to be uncomfortable in what you do because you love her that much. That is a man move. Yes, you with me? Yes, Good luck to you both. This matter is adjourned. So what are you going to do now after Judge Lynn uh, gave you some advice? I'm going to put a cap on it, cap, cap the anger. No more of that pop-off hole. No more pop-off. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be a firecracker no more. I hope the judge got through to her. I think she did. She did, she did take heed to what she said. I think we're going to be all right.